hello viewers this is Kole Dalton all right um this video is for those who believe um C panel is better than Plesk all right now the question is do you believe C panel is better than Plesk if your answer is yes then you are 99 percent wrong watch as i explore the crazy features of Plesk obsidian in a well prepared and i dedicated linux server by me all right so we have um, a dedicated server and um, a very high spec dedicated server we paid for um plex panel and um we configured um, uh, um and tweak the server and i have been using plex panel for um close to two years now and i can tell you that plex panel is very very um better and uh, uh in terms of application in terms of every apps in terms of ram in terms of um 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 ssd in terms of php in terms of everything all right black panel is better than c panel all right so um i am going to show you a demo of a a customer panel all right so um uh, um okay in this video i will reveal to you the demo of a customer plex panel on a server the admin panel is awesome as well but you would not get that in this video all right the purpose of this video is to show you um um the, the customer panel all right so i am not going to show you the the plex and the admin plex panel all right so um for those of you we are saying C panel is better than Plex panel, but I can tell you today that um, Plex panel is better than C panel. All right, I have been using C panel for close to seven to eight years. All right, I have been using um, what I'm trying to say is I started using C panel. All right, and that is close to eight years that I've been using C panel. It was last year, or was it two years ago, that I discovered about discovered plex i explore plex future and i discovered that plex is far more better than um c panel all right so let me show you what you need to see from air all right so i will be logging into um plex panel i've already input the username and the password there all right so this is a plex panel the latest plex panel obsidian from plex all right so what i'm going to do is log in oh ho oh ho all right um this is um the customer um preview panel all right this is the customer um panel not admin panel all right so as you can see demo tutorial call it demo net all right so we have um you can add domain you can add subdomain okay let's quickly um explore service or content as you can see we have um hard mode domain all right and you can add subdomain all right You can add domain and layers so that we have um active suspend you can even suspend a website yourself all right so we have the website all right so um we have the file manager we have the mail we have the database we have um the wordpress you can even install wordpress without um software coolers so then we have um web hosting access As you can see, FTP cell, FTP access, add an, add an FTP account, remove. We have the hosting access. I mean hosting settings rather 
Post the settings. Um, we have a um, PHP Composer. Um, we have um, SSL, so TLS, TLS certificate. As you can see. Um, we have a um, GIT, all right. We have a um, PHP settings. You can select the type of um, PHP version you want to use. We have up to seven point three point ten, all right. So then run as PHP uh, FMP application. Run as fast CIG application. We have the memory limit, the mass execution time, the mass input time, the post mass size, upload mass five file size, and we have a um, lot of settings here. All right. So if you want to change your um, want to change your settings, you click on apply. Then you can click on OK on cancel after apply. Then we have um, we have Node.js, we have Ruby, we have APH and NGINS settings. All right, we have applications, we have File Manager. As you can see, File Manager. Very awesome. We have um, web statistics. We have mail importing. Okay, let's check web statistics. Yeah, web statistic. Call it that. Call it demo.net is not a valid domain. All right, I am here to register this domain because I just make it a demo. The domain is here to be registered. All right, this is just an invalid domain. That's why you are seeing this kind of um, troubleshooting. Or uh, um, that's why it's saying it's, it can connect to server. All right, this is just a domain that is yet to be registered. All right, just a demo domain. And um, we have um, mail importing, import mail messages, import mail messages from other servers via IMAP. All right. We have a um, website importing. All right, website importing. We have website importing. Post username, password, speed up file transfer by using web stream better when possible. All right, as you can see, so many things you can do with Plex panel. And uh, we have um, we have um, web statistics SSL TLS. We have DNS settings. Yes, you can see DNS. Very awesome. Very awesome. Very awesome. You can disable a DNS. You can add record. You can reset to default. You can remove a DNS. You can make a DNS master or slave. And uh, we have a um, mail account. We have the mail settings. We have the mailing lists. We have the outgoing mail control. 
we have the email address as you can see create email address email address you can create email address external email address confirm password custom value I can click on ok if you want to forward switch on mail forward if you want to forward a message if you want to forward a message received from the email address that you are going to create here so um you just click on forward you activate forward you can input as many as possible all right and so on and so forth then we have the email alias we have the auto reply so once you are done you can click on ok but i'm going to click on cancel because i don't want to create an email address and then we have a uh, test this is the subdomain of this domain and can as well create email address for the um subdomain that creates email address for subdomain all right you can see now let's go back to um our dashboard and um, we have um, mail settings mail settings you can click on mail settings as you can see webmail you can send land around coop or odd all right use we have a lot of settings you can do here ssl tls we have one here because we are yet to activate um we are yet to activate SSL or TLS for the domain, so you will not see it for the drop down, drop down button. All right. Um, we have um limit at going messages. We have password protected directories. You can see, you can protect any directory of your choice. Directory name, title of the protected area. All right, so we have um, um we have um, we have a um, website copy. We have locks, we have bandwidth limiting, we have web users, we have remove subdomain, we have um, advisor, we have software coolers, all right, and uh, we have um, we have databases, we have backup manager, we have schedule tasks, we have outgoing mail control, software coolers auto installer, we have software coolers, we have server sheet by Cloudflare, we have WordPress. This is WordPress without Softaculous, and Softaculous also has a uh, Jazz and WordPress. All right, so we're going back to um, we have the database. Uh, we're going back to um, all right, so um, mail. My network is slow. We have applications, we have um, files. We have um, databases. We have um, statistics. As you can see, we have statistics. We have users. We have um, you can create user account, user role, 
Oke. Okay. And now we have um, user roles. You can edit or create a new user roles. Grant text. Activate this rules account by email. As you can see. Create user role. Alright, we have account. My profile. Back up my account and website. Back up website. Additional services. As you can see. We have um, WordPress. Install, import, scan, update, detach, remove. We have a um, CO2 kit. Alright, this is CO2 kit. Alright, 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 alright. I have just shown you the peg. Alright, this is just a little um, of plus panel features. Alright. This is just a little compared to the live um plus um to the live um customer panel once you start using it you will know that plex panel is good and far better than say panel all right so if you are interested in paying for my own web hosting plex panel i am going to also take you through i'm going to teach you for whatever you don't know about plex i am going to teach you i am going to show you I'm going to let you know. I'm going to explore with you live um, Plex panel. You will really enjoy it. So it is time for you to move first from C panel and come to Plex panel. All right. So thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video and have a nice day. Bye.